It's a direct. Looks like it, yeah. So, second half, uh, or the first half of the uh, senior semi-final is underway and straight away across on the far side at St. Kieran's on the attack over there and they uh, bring this one forward towards the 45-yard uh, line. Johnny McCarthy in possession of it attacking straight away down towards the 21 now at the far side. Hand pass across the centre. It's kicked in right-footed. That looks to be a great start. It is and I think it was Jim Donovan that uh, got that one in and over the crossbar inside the opening of 25 seconds. That is a super score for uh, St. Kieran's and just what the doctor ordered if you excuse the point if it was Jim Donovan that kicked it. Yeah, it just seemed to be for the throw-in that uh, Jim Donovan was out around the middle of the field. He's now back at full forward, so it's uh, as you were in terms of uh, positional-wise from the programme for uh, St. Kieran's as the kick-out is won. Down this near side, Gareth Noonan in possession of it for John Crawford. Hand pass off down the uh, centre of the field. Now comes Dio Leary with it up towards the 65-yard line as uh, his hand pass not the greatest in favour of uh, Pat Donnelly. Referee has said pressure applied there was unfair and this is going to be a free and a St. Kieran's player down, I think, is anti Mulno on the uh, centre of the field. The referee wants to have a word with the uh, Drum Broadford player. I think it's uh, Michael O'Sullivan that's uh, being called over by the referee. And we could see the first yellow card of the game inside the opening minute as uh, St. Kieran's player on the ground. But uh, you spoke about the start that St. Kieran's needed, Matt, if they were to uh, upset the apple cart here. And they've gotten off to that uh, fine start, a point to no score already. And now a free 60 yards out from goal. Just goes to show as well maybe the game last weekend might have helped them of course from Broadford having played by getting a direct route to the semi-final. It certainly is. It's a free for them now. Just uh, shy of the midway between the 45 and the 65 across on the uh, far side as we watch it here from McNeville Park. The uh, free kick comes up. It's left footed. It's going to drop in around as it. The goalkeeper punches. Might have uh, taken that one but uh, up to punch it and it breaks. Derek Tracy puts up the hand, breaks this one back and uh, there to win it. Dermot Carroll in an advanced position. Gives the ball away though. Michael O'Sullivan takes this one away now for Drum Collar Broadford. Find support from Gary Egan down the far side. He's hand passed further out now and brought away now as Drum Broadford bring this one towards the halfway line. Past halfway. Still going forward as Mihal Brosnan. Brosnan in possession of it towards the 45. Hand pass inside. Looking to get Ray Lynch into the action. Lynch ends up on the deck. Referee says play away as the hand pass goes back. It wasn't a hand pass in fact says the referee. It was a throw ball. This free for St. Kieran's but Drum Broadford sweeping up the field. Throw in ball midway between the 65 and the 45, a defensive one from a St. Kieran's point of view. Up goes the ball, it's won by St. Kieran's and broken down the far side, and it's uh, uh, them in possession of it looking for the support. Referee has said a free, this is going to be a, a free going in favour of them and Dumont Carroll hand passes it near side as far as John Doyle back across the centre towards Johnny McCarthy takes this one towards the 45 yard line a bit of space opens up in front of Johnny Mack as he kicks this one left footed inside trying to get Ray Cahill into the action a bit too much on it though Jim Donovan does well controls the ball and lays this one back here's an opportunity now as it's in the hands of uh, Sean McSweeney McSweeney taken away from him though and away come John Culliher Broadford Ray Lynch finds himself back in his own 65 support now from Pat Donnelly back across the centre towards Shawnee Buck right in the halfway line Buckley towards the 65 is pulled back free is taken quickly by Shawnee Buckley high into the uh, night sky into Donnelly gathers a 45 yards out from goal turns and looks towards the target crossfield ball towards Ray Lynch taken on by Ray Lynch now on towards the 30 kicks this one in the umpire has a good long look at it but says it's gone to the right hand side and wide first wide of the game comes inside the opening at uh, four minutes and still the scoreline remains at St. Kieran's a point drum colour her Broadford no score and five minutes played of the opening half Matt O'Callaghan 
John Graney's kick out for St. Kieran's and the goal away to our right hand side, long down the centre of the field towards Timmy Carroll breaking behind him. In goes uh, Timmy diving in on that one. Referee has said uh, a bit too much, uh, too vociferous there in this free going in favour of uh, Drum Colour Her Broadford and an opportunity for them now to clear their lines from uh, the attacking 65 yard line from their point of view. It's Shawnee Buckley who kicks this one right footed high into the night sky here in Rathkeel. Forward towards Pat Donnelly, broken away by him and won back there now by Patrick Windle. Windle in possession of it off across the centre and now it's brought away by the uh, McCarthy brothers combining as Johnny finds it near side of the field as far as. Kevin Mead, Mead further up the field as far as John Doyle, Doyle in possession of it now, he's got support near side from Kevin Mead, Mead goes forward, on towards the 45, number 4 and he's back, on towards the attacking 21 now, will take the left footed kick, that may be why number 4 is on his back and not 14, it's gone to the left hand side and wide, first wide of the game. Mm. Well, something that uh, the John Broadford management, I'm sure, will have a word about. I was uh, getting team news a couple of minutes ago, saw an interesting observer here uh, this evening. The uh, Mayo football coach Donny Buckley is uh, here with us this evening, someplace around uh, McNeville Park. As I say, an interested observer, no doubt, and uh, a keen fan of Limerick football from his time involved with Mickey Ned O'Sullivan. We'll start a rumour, Matt. He's about the only man that hasn't been mentioned for the job, I think, so far. As uh, play to resume with the kick out, just a, a change of gloves for Keith Noonan in the goal away to our left hand side. And uh, just a, an injury as well down here beneath us as uh, it seems to be Ray Lynch receiving a bit of treatment and uh, just midway between the 65 and the 45 yard line, just a, an arm injury, nothing too serious I would imagine for Ray Lynch, it would take, take a fair knock to take Ray Lynch off, off the field of play in a county semi-final. Tommy Stack, of course, uh, now involved in the uh, backroom team of uh, Drum Broadford, uh, making his way off on the uh, far side of the field over there. Just uh, checking on the uh, well-being of Ray Lynch, just uh, an upper arm injury, nothing too serious, I wouldn't imagine, but uh, play going to resume in just a moment. It certainly is a point to no score. St. Kieran's lead here. Inside the opening, uh, what have we, uh, eight minutes played of the opening half so far and play to resume. With the kick out now from Keith Noonan, away to our left hand side. The breeze, as uh, Matt said, not a factor at all now here as it would have been in the opening half of the intermediate game which was played uh, under dusk, shall we say, as opposed to uh, complete darkness that is now here at McNeville and this uh, wonderful facility as the kick out is taken by Keith Noonan sent down the centre of the field looking to uh, get onto it there D O'Leary breaks this one down one though by Dara Tracy hand pass down the far side of the field that's a good hand pass inside and here come uh, St Kieran's on the attack going forward with this one is Jack Ben Hartnett at an angle to the post so a little bit of pressure looking for the options inside uh, and the uh, on rushing players it's eventually in the shape of uh, Timmy Carroll who brings this one forward hand pass across the centre inside it goes on towards the 13 the kick goes it's high and it's over the crossbar. I think that was Dara Tracy, was it, that uh, kicked that one, just making his way out again, uh, out to the 45 yard line. But a point for St. Kieran's, and uh, John Doyle it was uh, that uh, kicked that one, and two points to no score. St. Kieran's into the lead, and uh, they've raced into a good two point lead inside nine minutes. The kick out is uh, almost won by uh, St. Kieran's, but Drum Broadford pick up the breaking ball, and it's now in the shape of uh, Shawnee Buckley down here towards the 45. Kicks this one right footed, it's going high, but it's gone to the right hand side and wide. Shawnee just uh, acknowledging that as that one goes for Drum Broadford. Second wide of the game so far, 
So second wide of the game and from Broadford just uh, yet to really get going and maybe as I say the factor that we, we spoke earlier on in the uh, championship preview show about uh, tonight's game we never mentioned the fact that Trump Broadford hadn't played since the last group game which is a few weeks and Kieran's benefited maybe by that game last weekend John Graney's kick out breaks around the centre of the field won by John Doyle hand pass near side towards Anthony Molino goes forward on towards the 21 pushed back uh, says the referee as he set off on a run on towards the 21 dead straight in front of the post and this uh, should be uh, bread and butter for Sean Maxweeney who was kicking them for fun last weekend down here at uh, McNeville Park and uh, he's uh, lining this one up dead straight in front of the posts and this an opportunity for St Kieran's to go into a three point lead inside the opening uh, 10 minutes and just the start that they would have been hoping for is uh, here comes Maxweeney kicks this one left footed it's in and it's over the crossbar three points to no score and Sean Maxweeney is off the board his first one from a free and as I say he was kicking them over uh, for fun last weekend and he started that an ideal one for a free taker dead straight in front of the post. Good take from the kick out by Shawnee Buckley midway between the 45 and 65 sets off on a run the uh, Tugs just being uh, tested there by uh, the uh, St. Kieran's band, the referees awarded a free. It was uh, Ray Cahill, the St. Kieran's captain. Just a, a sneaky little tug, but the referee saw it. And Shawnee Buckley going to take this free now on his own 60 on the attacking 65. Ops to go backwards. Wins back possession of it again now. Looks for the uh, options inside as the forwards come racing towards him, trying to create a bit of space inside. And Buckley uh, goes into that space. Held up though on the 45. Kicks this one right footed from a long way out. Gathered by the goalkeeper and uh, brought away by John Graney. And he's hand passed down this near side of the field. Looking for this. Ray Cahill near side Cahill gathers possession of it back in his own 13 yard line ends up on the deck referee has said that's going to be a free free going in favour of St Kieran's Good take from the kick well, Kevin Mead was on a run up the centre of the field there again, not for the uh, first time, but his uh, track was halted on the 45 as Ray Lynch sends this ball towards Pat Donnelly, far side of the field, midway between the 21 45, about five in from the far sideline. Donnelly bounces the ball, gets it back into his hands, uh, but uh, good uh, pressure inside there, and St. Kieran's win the ball back, and away they come with it now down the far side of the field. It's tough so far. Johnny McCarthy lays this one off across the centre, a bit too much on the hand pass, but Jim Donovan, or, uh, in fact, it's uh, Timmy Carroll that gathers possession of it back there referee says play away as Carroll is dispossessed long ball booted forward inside danger here is Ray Egan it bounces into his uh, grateful arms in possession of it kicks this one right footed across the face of the goal might get towards Pat Donnelly keeps it in play can't control it though and it's Polly Mack back there to win possession of it and he looks up for the options now which he plays it down the far side of the field St Kieran's looking for possession in goes a foot there the referee has said as the Drum Broadford player went down to win possession of it free going in favour of Drum Colourher Broadford and a wild Leo Campaigner winning that one just uh, putting his hands down looking for the ball referee spotted that there was a foot in there and a free going in favour of uh, Drum Broadford Yeah, Killian Fair it is down the uh, far side and I can tell you it's half time now in uh, Oriel Park and Limerick FC leading two goals to nil. Rory Gaffney scoring both goals for Limerick FC up in Oriel Park 
and well the uh, pressure well and truly off them but uh, well it's uh, been impressive the last two games so far here it comes now down the far side of the free the free going in favour of uh, drum colour her Broadford and going to take this one across on the far side as they uh, line this one up kick it right footed uh, umpires a good long look at it reaches for the white flag and that has gone over the crossbar that's a point in favour of drum Broadford it's their first one of the game it's a much needed one that they uh, would have wanted I think it was uh, it was Killian Fair that uh, kicked that one over the crossbar 15 minutes into the opening half and Drum Broadford are off the mark three points to one Matt. They certainly are the kick out from John Green he was uh, down towards Dara Tracy in the far side he couldn't control it and Drum Broadford have uh, picked it up now and bring this one away towards the far side of the field heading forward on towards the 45 up towards uh, Seamus Brosnan over there just uh, past him and away comes Johnny McCarthy for St. Kieran's down the far side of the field now Kieran's in possession of the ball hand pass across the centre and uh, they're in possession of it now as uh, Timmy Carroll looking for uh, a few options ends up uh, with uh, the brother Dear Mudoff in this near side now and they're in possession of it is John Doyle one point to his name so far sends this one into space and Anthony Molno 45 out from goal Molno on the goal away to our left hand side kicks this one right footed in to try and find captain Ray Cahill gathers possession of it weaves one way then the other plays a cross field ball not the best one it's gathered by Shawnee Buckley back there on the 21 yard line as he comes towards the 45 Buckley's hand pass across the centre finds his midfield partner O'Sullivan now back across the centre towards Gary Egan under pressure finds the on rushing uh, uh, Ray Lynch back there inside his own half back line now towards Michal Reedy and Reedy boots this one right for the should beat everybody Richie Maloney is going to be the man that's going to flag this one to say it's gone out over this near stand sideline or uh, truck sideline should I call it and line ball going in favour of St Kieran's which they've taken quickly and sent towards this near side and away they come in a run again now with uh, Brendan McCarthy one of the uh, three brothers of course on the uh, team out over this sideline last touch the hand of Shawnee Buckley right here in front of us and uh, Brendan's older brother Johnny is going to take this line ball from here in front of us kicks this one right footed good ball inside breaking away inside there breaks as far as centre forward Anthony Mullo now off as far as Sean Maxweeney Maxweeney on towards the 13 still going goes for a shot and it goes over the glass back it could have easily gone under it but Maxweeney has taken the point and that is St. Kieran's fourth of the game four points to one St. Kieran's have raced into a three point lead here and their full value for it and the stopwatch will tell us that there is 17 minutes gone of the opening half and you'd have to say full value for their lead so far. They certainly do. Keith Newland's kick out sent down the far side of the field over there to try and win possession of it. Gary Egan picks it up for Drum Colour of Broadford, looks up for the options, finds it in the support of uh, O'Sullivan, the midfielder. He's ball across the centre, not the best, and it's easily picked up by uh, St. Kieran's, who oh, working very hard. Sean McSweeney, long ball inside, just couldn't break inside towards Jim Donovan, and it breaks behind him, and away come uh, Tom McLaughlin and Drum Colour of Broadford. Swung to ground, says the referee, just shy of the 45 yard line by Jim Donovan and McLaughlin takes this free towards this near side where it's won by Shawnee Buckley and Buckley brings this one forward up towards the uh, 45 now on the 65 past halfway finds the support across the centre and this uh, ball brought forward now by uh, D O'Leary and O'Leary still going forward looks for the hand pass which he finds off towards Michal Reedy Reedy in possession of it goes forward jinx one way onto the 13 takes the shot and it's blocked inside there and St Kieran's come away with it and a foul and I think it was Paddy McCarthy that made the block back there had to be a vital block because it looked as though it was going to be a goal from the boot of Michal Reedy as the ball is brought away now and here comes St Kieran's on the halfway line referee has said a foul there and this free for St Kieran sent inside and another pull on the shots inside this time by Owen Barry and the referee has uh, awarded a free now going in favour of St Kieran's but that was a good block back there Matt it had to be a good block because it looked as though Reedy was true Just before that. 
Hey, what time the goal person? There would be. It's a, a long way out, just shy of the 45. Max Wheelie kicks this one left footed. It's going to drop in or around the square, and the umpire has a look and says it's gone to the right hand side and wide. That, by my reckoning, is St. Kieran's second wide of the game, so they're level on the wides count to two wides apiece. And with the 20 minutes gone, where it all matters, they're on the scoreboard. It's St. Kieran's, the underdogs, that are leading by three points, four points to one, and play to resume with the kick out now from Keith Noonan. Away to our uh, left hand side, referee Trevor Mann just wants everybody, uh, uh, and when I say everybody, I mean the uh, battle that's going on inside there between. Uh, D. O'Leary and uh, Jim Donovan. He just wants them outside the uh, 21 as the kick out is taken short towards Owen Barry. Wins possession of it, does Barry. Hand pass across the centre now where it's won. In fact, it's Tom McLaughlin operating at uh, centre back or oper wearing six operating at full back as McLaughlin comes away with this one. Past halfway and now it's D. O'Leary in possession. Hand pass across the centre. Gets the return hand pass again, does O'Leary. Whether it was hand passed or thrown, we won't know. Shawnee Buckley kicks this one right footed inside, looking to get an angle ball in towards. Pat Donnelly who gathers it, turns his man, heads along the inline, Pat Donnelly, the referee has said the tackle inside there was too fierce on Donnelly, it's going to be a free, free going in favour of Trump Broadford and this is an opportunity for them to get their second point of the game, their first came from a free, their second is probably going to come from a free as well, across on the far side from Killian Fair and an opportunity for them to reduce it to two. Here he comes, uh, right footed, free taker sends this one in and over the crossbar, no doubt about that one. Second point of the game then for Drum Colourher Broadford and it's four points to two with eight and a half minutes left before the interval here in McNeville Park. Again brought to you this evening on Limerick's Live 95 FM in association with Limerick Motor Centre, main Hyundai dealers out there in the Bally Simon Road. And I just want to uh, say thanks as well to uh, Tygo Connors who provided us with this uh, uh, shelter that we have this evening, the truck here tonight at McNeville Park. And uh, Seamus McNamara was at the gate a little earlier, uh, of course, in play in Newcastle West, but uh, I think the truck came from just down the road here in the Rathkeel branches. The kick out sent down the centre of the field where it's won and broken, gathered by St. Kieran's, just shy of the 65 yard line. And Johnny McCarthy is looking for the options. He finds Dara Tracy right on the halfway line, right footed kick, long ball inside from Tracy. Might break in, it does. It's gathered inside by Max Vini, ends up on the deck. Referee has said he was pushed to ground. This is going to be a free, free going in favour of St. Kieran's. And that's a clever play from uh, young Sean Maxwell. If it was one of the more experienced heads, we'd be saying that was a very well won free. Here comes the free then for St. Kieran's 23 minutes exactly now gone of the uh, opening half here as the kick going to be taken this time by Anthony Molino near side of the field on the 13 yard line just about uh, maybe seven yards away from the left hand upright as we watch it here kicks this one in and it's gone over the crossbar just about the goalkeeper Keith Noonan I thought was going to get his hands to it it could uh, for, as a result have gone under the crossbar is over that's why I half hesitated but it's gone over the crossbar five points to two three between them six and a half minutes left to half time certainly did as the kick out won by Shawnee Buckley back on his own 65 Referee has uh, advanced the free 10 yards as well for the uh, St. Kieran's player not moving out of the way and Shawnee Buckley takes this free from the attacking 65. Low ball inside towards Killian Fair who gathers possession of it on the 21 yard line looking for his first score from play. Left footed kicks this one in and it's inside the upright and over the crossbar. Killian Fair has gotten all of Drum Broadford's three points. That's their first score from play. It's come 24 minutes into the opening half and the gap all of a sudden is just down to two again. Five points to three and you 
you just see that way he was taking the freeze with his right and that one was with his left Greeny's kick out broken by John Doyle but won by that man again Shawnee Buckley who single handedly is uh, pulling Drum Broadford into this game he was on the attack there ends up on the deck and the referee is given a free midway between the 21 and the 45 and it's an opportunity again for Drum Colour and Broadford to go just one between them but again the ball went long past Shawnee Buckley it was broken as I say by John Doyle but it was Buckley that picked up the breaking ball went on this run and ended up on the ground and uh, I think uh, there's a yellow card flashed inside there as well from the St. Kieran's player I think uh, it's either uh, Dearman Carroll or Johnny McCarthy that's picked it up I'm not quite sure which one but uh, referee has said it's going to be a free for Drum Broadford that's one thing we can tell you it's midway between the 21 and the 45 dead straight in front of the post and it's an opportunity here for Killian Fair to get yet another one this will be his fourth of the game he's third from a free he's kicked this one high the umpires have a good long look at it and it is his fourth of the game third from a free and all of a sudden Matt there's only one between them five points to four St. Kieran's lead as we play 26 minutes we've only about three to go before half time Breaking ball won by Garrett Noonan this time plays it up this near side of the field as far as my Mihal Brosnan off as far as um, Mihal Reedy. Reedy goes forward on towards the 21 still going Mihal Reedy under a bit of pressure ends up on the deck plays for the free and uh, you'd have to say won that free by playing for it he gathered it he got it just on the 21 yard line whether there was much contact or not remains to be seen but he's got it and it's a free dead straight in front of the post here it comes then from Killian Fair dead straight in front of the post and uh, well Drum Colourher Broadford I will tell you will be on five points barring a catastrophe here for Killian Fair Matt O'Callaghan has already written down 28 minutes gone of the opening half dead straight in front of the posts over the crossbar five points apiece the sides are level Killian Fair with all five points so far for uh, the reigning champions and just like a flick of a switch they're level four separate scorers for St. Kieran's one single scorer for Drum Broadford but the sides are level that's all that matters as uh, Kieran's play this one inside towards Dara Tracy yet to score in this game lays it back now as far as Johnny McCarthy doubt if Johnny will be shooting from uh, 45 yards out lays it off the kick comes in right foot over it's in and it's over the crossbar that's a super score absolutely super was it Patrick Windle that kicked that one over the crossbar it's uh, a super score 28 minutes played of the opening half and uh, yet another score now for St. Kieran's and they go back into the lead again. It's now, what, six points to five in favour of St. Kieran's and had a fine score, 90 seconds to go before half time. You'd have to say it was as the ball breaks inside there, referee saw Drum Broadford player on the ground. He's given a free in in favour of St. Kieran's for the ball being touched on the ground. And Anthony Mullinot over this one. He's left it now, I think, towards uh, Max Sweeney. And an opportunity here for St. Kieran's to go two to the good yet again as we approach the uh, half time whistle here at McNeville Park. 29 minutes played of the opening half thus far. And this opportunity now 
dead straight in front of the posts just uh, midway between the 21 and the 45 and an opportunity here for St. Kieran's to go two points to the good here it comes left footed free sent in sent high sent over the crossbar that's uh, another point for Max Weenie the uh, man wearing number 13 that's his third point of the game he's second from a free as we've got 30 seconds left to go before half time and St. Kieran's back two points to the good good sign of a team Mac that when the questions have been asked they've gone up and scored two in a row Kick out broken down the centre of the field and one down here beneath his own Barry lays this one across the centre. One now by Garrett Noonan and Noonan off to Shawnee Buckley. Buckley in possession of it towards the 45 yard line. Kicks this one right footed inside looking to find Killian Fair into the action. Back now as far as O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan back to Fair again. Near side of the field kicks this one right footed. It's high. It's into the night sky but this one has gone to the right hand side and wide. That's the third wide of the game from a drum colour of Broadford point of view. So on the wide's count it's three wides to two. Trevor Mann has a look at the watch. It's seven points to five on the scoreboard and on the stopwatch it's 30 and a half minutes played of the opening half here uh, at McNeville Park and Limerick's Live 95 FM in the uh, opening of the County Senior Football Championship semi-finals for 2013. The final of course to be played I think the 20th of October at a venue to be decided and uh, play to resume with a kick out away to our right hand side. Matt looks at me when I say a venue to be decided. You know where I want to play it Matt as the kick out broken down the uh, far side of the field. Killian Fahey wins it for Drum Broadford. Down the far side out over the far side line. It's uh, last touch by the St. Kieran's man. Line ball going in favour of Drum Colour Broadford an opportunity for them here midway just uh, shy of the 45 yard line back as far as Pat Donnelly on the 65 the attacking 65 looks up plays this one left footed back towards the far side of the field and hand passed in now looking to get into the action inside there is uh, uh, the Drum Broadford and Shawnee Buckley weaves one way kicks this one right footed is it across the goal the umpires are looking at it and over the crossbar point for Shawnee Buckley fine score for him we're into stoppage time and the gap is back to one seven points to six and Shawnee Buckley is having a stormer here Matt John Graney's uh, kick out uh, broken and won by Shawnee Buckley and going forward now towards the 45 now on towards the 21 ends up on the deck referee this time says no free forthcoming for Shawnee Buckley Andrew Connor or St. Kieran's I should say look to come away with it the referee blows the half time whistle as Timmy Carroll was in possession of it it's half time here at McNeville Park St. Kieran's lead 7 points to 6 it's been an entertaining first half here you'd have to say and from Colour and Broadford just find themselves one behind St. Kieran's. You look down through their uh, scorers, they've had uh, five different scorers by my reckoning. And from Colour and Broadford have just had two scorers. But on the board, Matt, where it all matters, there's just one between them. <laughs> In just a second we'll get the uh, second half underway as uh, the uh, referee just about to uh, get underway Seamus Brosnan is the man that's uh, made his way according to uh, Gareth uh, Meany the uh, ever efficient uh, PRO of Drum Broadford down here beneath us so the second half underway and straight away the referee is awarded a free in favour of St Kieran so it's uh, Seamus Brosnan that has gone off for Drum Broadford have gotten the free I should say here comes Shawnee Buckley to take this one right on the halfway line what a performance he had in the opening 30 minutes forward it goes towards Derry McCarthy just breaks over his head gathers possession of it again near the far side of the field looks up kicks this one left footed is this an instant uh, substitution it certainly is first touch of the second half first touch of the game indeed for Derry McCarthy and he levels things up now at seven points apiece we'll confirm it in just a minute but 
it's uh, certainly a, a point or a seven all is the uh, score line here as play to resume with the uh, kick out it was Derry McCarthy that uh, kicked that one over the crossbar seven all it was as the kick out sent down the centre of the field and won there by uh, St. Kieran's and John Doyle hand pass across the centre might get the return hand pass in fact it's Johnny McCarthy comes away with this one to the 45 long ball sent inside towards Ray Cahill the captain broken away from him and brought away now Derry McCarthy in possession of it for Drum Broadford back on the 45 off as far as uh, Tom McLaughlin and McLaughlin's hand pass further down the far side of the field now towards uh, Michal, Michal O'Sullivan further inside now as far as Ray Lynch all of this back in their own 65 yard line back in possession of it now Lynch towards the attacking 65 now towards Shawnee Buckley happy enough to be patient and then deliver long ball inside towards Pat Donnelly breaking inside there and uh, Killian Fair in fact it was that couldn't gather it inside there and away come uh, St. Kieran's with it now and Patrick Windle point scorer in the opening half gets the return hand pass brings this one away now it's in the shape of Dermot Carroll towards the 65 past halfway left footed delivery inside won't beat uh, Garrett Noonan who wins possession of it Noonan sends it near side passing it to uh, John Reddington down here beneath us and the ball has gone out over this near sideline going for a line ball in favour of uh, St. Kieran's and Pa Windle uh, to take this one right in front of us here looking to uh, set St. Kieran's on the attack away to our uh, right hand side the referee just uh, tells him to hold on a second as there's an injury to Kevin Mead across on the far side but uh, he's alright again as Windle plays this towards uh, Johnny McCarthy breaks it back to Windle again now towards Johnny McCarthy on the 65 yard line up against his inter county colleague Shawnee Buckley tied towards this near sideline ball sent inside the referee happy enough to allow play continue Jim Donovan reckons he was fouled uh, Shawnee uh, Buckley uh, could perhaps have fouled Johnny McCarthy as well inside there as the rain begins to uh, come down now here at McNeville Park as the ball on the far side of the field is brought away now by Owen Barry over there and Barry plays this one long inside looking to get Michal Reedy into the action past him and uh, Killian Fair inside there referee though has said a foul in there by Killian Fair and St Kieran's have taken this free quickly the pace really has upped in this uh, second half hope the rain isn't too heavy because our extension is out there might uh, become a small little bit exposed as the ball played forward now towards Jim Donovan 45 out from goal Donovan lays this one near side of the field as far as Pa Wendell one point to his name so far kicks it inside dropping around the square the punch went in from Ray Cahill just beat everybody and goes to the left hand side and wide third wide of the game first of the second half well we've uh, now I know there was uh, an injury to the uh, is it the St. Kieran's uh, player Kevin Mead looked injured but uh, the substitution just being made down here in front of us we'll confirm it in just a minute as to who's on and who's off from a St. Kieran's point of view as the kick out broken down the centre of the field it's one Timmy Carroll it was that uh, won it and lays it now as far as the brother Dearman up the centre of the field towards Paddy M Johnny McCarthy further inside now here comes St. Kieran's on the attack towards the 45 right foot of ball sent inside looking to uh, win it in there and uh, out to win it Sean McSweeney McSweeney under a bit of pressure referee has said foul free going in favour of St. Kieran's and I think coming on is Mike Flynn it seems for St. Kieran's Well, uh, yeah, he was he was carrying an injury and he's gone off on the far side of the field over there, I think, uh, still receiving treatment. So he's the man to uh, make way as uh, St. Kieran's now through Sean McSweeney with this free near side of the field, 13 yards out from the goal. And an opportunity here as McSweeney looks towards the target away to our right-hand side. Here he comes, kicks this one left-footed. It looks to be going in. It was an ideal position for a left-footed free taker. And Sean McSweeney has gotten his first score of the second half. And he's gotten drum colour or St. Kieran's, uh, he's uh, what fourth of the game in total, three of them from freeze, and it's eight points to seven. St. Kieran's ahead by one again. Oh, 
Kick out sent down the centre of the field. Mihal Reedy gathers it and lays this one off to the on rushing uh, player. That's uh, Mihal Brosnan coming forward on towards the 21. Still going Brosnan. Hand pass inside. Cut out though. Good defence back there from a St. Kieran's point of view. And away they come with it now. Away to our left hand side as the rain becomes even heavier now as Johnny McCarthy lays this one off as far as uh, Patrick Windle. Windle in possession. Back in his own half back line. Looks for the support. It comes from Paddy McCarthy. Hand pass up towards the brother Johnny. Johnny now further up this near side as far as Jack Ben Hartnett in possession of it towards the 45 taken away from him though by Killian Fahey down here beneath us referee is awarded a free foul on Killian Fahey right here in front of us and a free going in favour of Drum Broadford which they take short towards Shawnee Buckley Buckley brings this one away six and a half minutes played of the second half here it's eight points to seven one between them ball played from Shawnee Buckley down the far side one over there by Killian Fair in possession of it finds the support from Pat Donnelly Donnelly weaves one way then the other lays it back now as far as Owen Barry who finds himself 45 yards out from the goal and pass towards Michal Reedy. Reedy looking for the target under pressure and out does well good defence there from Paddy McCarthy as eventually Michal Reedy kicks this one in under pressure goes to the left kept in play though and uh, ball breaks down inside there and still it's uh, St. Kieran's in possession of it and the hand pass off now finds Anthony Mullen back there inside his own half back line referee has said foul back there free going in favour of St. Kieran's and an opportunity for them to clear their lines with seven and a bit minutes gone of the second half eight points to seven one between them here and the referee just wants everybody that's standing behind the goals to move away from the uh, goal mouth and play to resume with this free now for St. Kieran's and Johnny McCarthy going to take this one from back inside his own full back line 13 yards out from the goal looks up for uh, a target or two and uh, no real movement from uh, a St. Kieran's point of view for Johnny McCarthy as another substitution Jason Stokes has come on the field of play and he is now replacing Miolo Sullivan in the middle of the field so Stokes on the ever wily campaigner is the free taken by St. Kieran's. Away they come with it now towards the 21 yard line. Now towards the 65. Ball sent inside. Well won there by Anthony Mullen. The rain thankfully is easing off. And Mullen has won a free in the halfway line. Jason Stokes on the field. We'll hear from Matt in a minute because uh, St. Kieran's are on the attack again. And that's with Timmy Carroll in possession of it. Down the far side of the field he sends this one. Well gathered there. And this ball inside now towards Max Sweeney. Gathers it. 45 out from the goal. Heading towards the 21. Pulled down, says the referee. Free and going in favour of St. Kieran's. And we might see a yellow card as well, Matt O'Callaghan. Yeah. Pat, Pat Donnellan. Sir, nothing to separate them. Bar just uh, a kick of a ball at the minute, and they could become two kicks of a ball in just a minute as the uh, free down the far side of the field. Thankfully, that rain mat has uh, moved away and uh, has headed back further west as the uh, kick now down the far side of the field and an opportunity here for St. Kieran's to go two to the goal. 8-7 at the minute as the uh, kick comes in here. Right footed, dropping inside. Goalkeeper gathers possession of it. I think it was Max Sweeney that kicked it, but it's into the hands of the goalkeeper, Keith Noonan, who in turn plays this one now down the far side towards Pat Donnelly. Just through his hands, but it might break. It does in favour of St. Kieran's and won by Timmy Carroll. And Carroll in possession of it past the 65 towards the attacking 45. Finds the support over there. Jim Donovan, no, it's not. It's uh, Ray Cahill, the captain, in possession of it. Ends up... Uh, <coughs> being pushed on the back I think says the referee and a free going in favour of uh, St. Kieran's and an opportunity 2-1 uh, still 10 minutes left in Oriel Park plus uh, there's going to be a fair bit of stoppage time I'm told as well uh, for that so uh, still Limerick FC lead by two goals to one that would be a huge result were they to win up there here if this was to be converted into a, a full time score as well it would be a huge result for St Kieran's who lead Drum Broadford 8 points to 7 at the minute and have a free midway between the 45 and the 21 it's Anthony Mullen, it's actually 
it's from the left side. It certainly is. Munlo lines up this one. Ops to go short this time towards the captain, Ray Cahill. Gathers it, lays this one back again going forward. Munlo still in possession. 13 out from goal. Swings one way. Kicks that one right forward. That's a super score. Absolutely super score from Anthony Munlo. His second point of the game. It certainly is uh, with to send greetings to Shane Crowley who was listening to us on the internet uh, from uh, London uh, cheering on St. Kieran's this evening. He'll certainly be happy at this moment in time as St. Kieran's lead nine points to seven. We look at the stopwatch now to tell you there's eight minutes or eleven minutes gone of the uh, second half as the kick out sent down the centre of the field broken there won by uh, Drum Broadford and uh, it was Owen Barry that was fouled back there referee is awarded this free and Shawnee Buckley takes it down towards Pat Donnelly far side of the field Buckley in possession of it now lays this one as far as Garrett Noonan Noonan sends this one inside looking to get uh, uh, Drum Broadford into the attack down the far side of the ball just who forward literally and it falls into the arms there and uh, me, uh, the, the kick comes in here it's high and it's all on the crossbar and it's a point for Drum Colourher Broadford it's one that they uh, needed another one from play at 9 points to 8 the scoreline now and uh, we've played 12 minutes of the uh, half point then for Drum Colourher Broadford and uh, as I say we're back to a 1 point game 9 points to 8 12 minutes played here 18 left in the second half as the kick out comes from John Graney away to our left hand side broken down the uh, centre of the field Johnny McCarthy racing for it up against him Killian Fair gets the touch back as far as uh, uh, St Kieran's and they come away with it now back there in their own full back line weaving one way then the other into a bit of trouble but the support eventually arrives but uh, they've uh, turned up possession of it and John Broadford have won it back now and here's a chance for Derry McCarthy back gets the return hand pass McCarthy kicks this one in and kicks it over the crossbar second score of the second half for the uh, half time substitute 12 minutes played 13 now of the second half and the sides are level at 9 points apiece and from Broadford 2 in a row from play Here comes the uh, kick out, uh, sent away to our right hand side. It's gathered though and won by Mihal Reedy back in his own half back line. Now finds Killian Fahey. Fahey near side of the field, looks for the support. It comes in the shape of Garrett Noonan. Back now as far as Shawnee Buckley. And Buckley on his own 45 yard line, opts to play this one all the way across on the far side towards Tom McLaughlin. Further out the far side now, and away come uh, Drum Broadford with this one, heading towards the uh, 65. Jason Stokes in possession of it. Racing forward was Mihal Reedy down this near side, but his run has now been checked, and it's now in the hands of Pat Donnelly across the centre. Finds uh, Dio Leary, who finds himself going forward, lays this one now, and the kick comes in. Here is it, Terry McCarthy again. It is, you know. That is his third point of the game since coming on as a half-time substitute. And Drum Colourher Broadford are into the lead for what could very well be the first time in this game. Kick out uh, centre way to our left hand side. Draw our St. Kieran's just about keep in control of it. Uh, but the linesman, Mike Mann, on this near side has awarded a line ball in favour of Drum Colourher Broadford and an opportunity here for them. And Shawnee Buckley to launch this one from just uh, shy of the 45 yard line. 10 points to 9. That's the scoreline. Buckley's ball sent inside towards Killian Fair. Ends up on the deck. Referee has said he's touched the ball on the ground and has given a free out for St. Kieran's. 
and because Killian Fair won't release it it's going to be advanced uh, 10 yards as well so it's been brought from the 13 to midway between the 21 and the 45 oh dear me Carroll has taken the line ball and it's absolutely terrible it's gone right out over this near sideline and uh, a line ball going in favour of Drum Broadford an opportunity for them here Me already in possession of it across the centre towards Jason Stokes Stokes in possession 45 yards out from goal about 10 in from this near sideline lays it across the centre here comes the kick it's in it's high and it's over the crossbar that from the boot of Michal Brosnan I think that's got that one over the crossbar point for Drum Colourer Broadford and they begin to stretch now 11 points to 9 2 between them wouldn't say it's comfortable by any stretch of the imagination but it's the biggest lead they've had all game it certainly is as they win possession of it now back in the half back line again Derry McCarthy who uh, really has uh, proved to be an inspirational substitution since coming on at half time there's this one now towards Jason Stokes foul around the halfway line says the referee free going in favour of uh, Drum Colour Broadford and the referee wants to have a word with uh, Anthony Mullineau as well more I think for uh, what he said as opposed to the uh, tackle and the uh, free and uh, a yellow card as well for Mullineau who goes into the uh, referee's notebook and uh, here's the free now Shawnee Buckley plays this one back towards uh, the uh, far side and uh, Ray Lynch it was that was back in his own uh, half back line now Shawnee Buckley in possession of it right in the halfway line lays this one as far as Gareth Noonan Noonan's hand pass inside finds Pat Donnelly just shy of the uh, 45 hand pass just a bit too much on it and it's won instead by Johnny McCarthy 45 out from goal McCarthy kicks this one up the centre of the field looking to win possession of it kept in play though by Drum Broadford off now as far as Shawnee Buckley Buckley in possession of it towards the 65 back across the centre to Jason Stokes and Stokes now towards uh, Owen Barry Barry brings this one towards the 65 ball sent long inside now broken inside by Killian Fair brought away by St Kieran's and eventually Paddy McCarthy finds Johnny McCarthy and McCarthy now finds uh, Timmy Carroll Carroll back towards the 65 yard line past halfway takes a shoulder he's a big man is Timmy plays this one inside broken by Jim Donovan is it into the hands it is of uh, Sean Maxweeney back as far as Jim Donovan again who kicks this one wildly to the right hand side and wide so wide in fact that uh, it uh, goes over the net and uh, way to the right hand side and wide that's St Kieran's fourth of the game by my reckoning well we'll uh, look at the stopwatch and it'll say 18 and a half minutes gone not sure what St Kieran's have scored in this second half uh, if uh, They've only got uh, one, I think, in this uh, second half so far. And St. K or uh, Drum Broadford, I think, have outscored him four points to one, if my maths are correct. As uh, the ball sent down the far side of the field and uh, over there to try and win possession of it, St. Kieran's have possession of it, tight towards the far sideline, under a bit of pressure. That's good defence by Drum Broadford, forcing them back. Eventually, the ball kicked forward and they gather possession of it, tight towards the end line, far side of the field. That's Johnny McCarthy. I had to check for a double moment there uh, to see if it was him. It was on the 13 yard line. Here comes the kick, it goes in, is that Dara Tracy that's kicked that? But no matter who it is, it's gone to the left-hand side and wide. Fifth wide in the game for Kieran. Just uh, a hold up in play, but uh, referee is happy enough to allow play to continue. There was an injury, I think, to uh, Drum Broadford player in the full back line, but Shawnee Buckley has won possession of the short kick out, and it's down this uh, near side of the field and uh, winning possession of it free, going in favour of Drum Broadford and an opportunity for them to uh, clear their lines away to our uh, right hand side. And Shawnee Buckley is going to do this just shy of the uh, 45 yard line. Referee now has said Shawnee Buckley has taken too long to do this and he's going to throw the ball up between a couple of players. Just on the uh, 45 yard line and an opportunity here as uh, 
in goes the throwing ball it's broken inside there and uh, St. Kieran's looking to win possession of it Dara Tracy just can't get the ball into his hands and it's brought away by Shawnee Buckley and Amy mentioned so much in the first half and uh, was quiet enough in the opening few minutes of the second but uh, well the ball is uh, broken inside there now and St. Kieran's have missed that completely Mike Flynn just lost the flight of it Derry McCarthy kicks it in but it goes to the right hand side and wide for John Bradford's fourth wide their first of the second half but Mike Flynn just lost the flight of the football completely was looking for it it was landing behind him he was looking in front of him overhead him and everywhere about where the ball was and a let off for St. Kieran's Kick out sent down this uh, near side or Killian Fahey has one possession of a third run Broadford lays it inside now and uh, an opportunity here as Killian Fair with the ball in his hand afterwards Jason Stokes back to Fahey now towards Ray Lynch kicks it in there was four different names mentioned in the build up to that score and Ray Lynch it was eventually that kicked it over the crossbar and from Culliher Broadford now lead by three 12 points to nine here in McNeville Park in Rathkeel this evening in the first of the semi-finals and the quick kick out and uh, Kieran have made a mess of it and Pat Donnelly goes through and fists it in and fists it over the crossbar point for Pat Donnelly and a point for Drum Culliher Broadford and uh, I can tell you they're into added time at Oriel Park where there was five minutes to be added on and Limerick still 2-1 up 13 points to nine here four between them Matt well you certainly would as uh, the remarkable uh, record of uh, making knockout stages continues and yet another final appearance looks as though it's beckoning but one just never knows do they with uh, sport as Anthony Molino sends this one inside all it takes is one goal to uh, reignite this game as Max Weenie in possession of it down the far side of the field or maybe an inspirational point it's uh, sent in high there uh, dropping inside from uh, Dear McCall broken inside won by St. Kieran's back as far as Ray Cahill on the 21 yard line swings one way turns and kicks this one in but it goes to the right hand side and wide it's one that you felt St. Kieran's needed if they were to get back into it that's their fourth wide of the second half their sixth wide in total and we have four points between them and we'll uh, take a look at the stopwatch now which will tell us that there is seven minutes left Kick out sent down the uh, middle of the field where it's won there now and brought forward from Broadford to go on the attack now with me all Brosnan hand pass inside looking to find Ray Lynch who gets a touch to it and it goes in and goes over the crossbar second point of the game for Ray Lynch and another one for him second in quick succession as well and now there's five between them 14 points to nine and well you'd have to say at this stage now barring uh, a complete collapse you'd fancy uh, Drum Broadford uh, for yet another final appearance. There's six and a half minutes left here. St. Kieran's making another substitution. Off is going Jack Ben Hartnett. We'll tell you who's come on in just a moment as play resumes with the kick out now for John Graney away to our uh, left hand side as uh, play to resume with uh, Graney's kick out away to our left kicks this one down the far side of the field there's been a fine crowd here in McNeville Park and they've gotten a, a good game of football it'll have to be said as Dear McCall breaks this one down wins it back again and hand passes it now towards Johnny McCarthy can St. Kieran's get a goal Derek Tracy got one here seven nights ago which uh, when things were uh, right in the melting pot you'd have to say at this moment in time as John Bradford sweep this one up now and come away with this one in the shape of Mike Boyce who's come on as well back in the half back line off as far as Jason Stokes now towards Killian Fahey near side of the field back as far as uh, Derry McCarthy who proves he can defend as well as attack and now Garrett Noonan on the attack towards the 45 me already on his shoulder just uh, the only one of the uh, forwards that hasn't uh, scored so far for Drum Broadford off as far as Dio O'Leary kicks this one across the uh, centre and Johnny McCarthy wins possession of a 45 out from goal fouled and an opportunity here now as away they come Mike Flynn right foot a ball sending this one in towards big Jim Donovan nobody at home inside though so Jim Donovan only has to hold it up 21 out from goal crossfield ball looking to find the captain who won't get to it because the 
touch knocked it out of play for a 45 and the touch came I think from Mike Boyce out for a 45 in favour of uh, St Kieran's and well it's uh, what 14 points to 9 5 between them now as the uh, stopwatch will tell us there is uh, 5 minutes left here in this game so 5 minutes left Matt O'Callaghan St Kieran's need a goal from this 45 Ciarán Crowley is listening to us uh, while uh, working in the uh, Matter Private in Dublin and uh, sending greetings to him as the uh, kick comes in but it goes to the left hand side and wide and uh, well that kind of sums it up, 7th wide of the game, they've hit 5 wides Matt in this second half St Kieran's. Here comes the uh, kick out, away to our uh, right hand side, as this one's sent down the centre of the field, uh, still playing at Oriel Park, we'll get you a full time score as soon as it comes, long ball sent inside, the referee has given a free in for a foul on Big Jim inside there, and this 21 yard free going in favour of uh, St Kieran's, and a uh, little bit of uh, pushing and shoving breaking out inside there which uh, St Kieran's don't want to be getting involved with, they want to see a flag of some colour, Take it, Anthony Molino has left this one now as far as Sean McSweeney and we have an opportunity here, it's all over I can tell you at Oriel Park as uh, Sean McSweeney kicks that one over the crossbar, point for St Kieran's, Limerick FC have won by two goals to one, we get the uh, full time score on that, McSweeney with that point for uh, St Kieran's, four between them now and the stopwatch will tell us that we have three minutes exactly left here, an opportunity perhaps uh, is there one, is there going to be late drama, 14 points to 10 as uh, play to resume with the kick out away to our right hand side, going to be taken by Keith Noonan, sends this one down the centre of the field, a breaking ball hits the chest of John Doyle and won by uh, St Kieran's now, hand pass across the centre, Dara Tracy further out, chance of a goal, it's stopped brilliantly in the goal line, Jim Donovan in there, eventually it rolls out for a 45 that was a real opportunity. I think it was Dara Tracy that took the shot. It was brilliantly saved inside in the goal line by Keith Noonan. The rebound, Jim Donovan was lurking and eventually knocked out for a 45, Matt O'Callaghan. This game ain't over yet. Here comes Sean McSweeney with the 45 kicking this one in. It's floating all the way in and over the crossbar. That's a super uh, belt of a ball. And all of a sudden, Matt O'Callaghan, we've only three points between them. And if St. Kieran's were to raise a green flag, well, anything could happen. 90 seconds left, plus whatever is going to be added on. 14 points to 11, three between them. And uh, the goalkeeper still down and I think the goalkeeper is going off in fact as a result of that change Keith Noonan has gone off and uh, he's been replaced I think is it James Noonan that's come on James Noonan is on and Keith Noonan has gone off as a result maybe of that save and I think uh, is there another change in the Drum Broadford full back line inside there as well seems to be another player hobbling off away to the far side but we'll watch the flight of the football as they kick out from Noonan not the best breaking around the centre of the field it's uh, broken and won by Dara Tracy Tracy who got the goal last week of course that effectively seals St Kieran's passage here there's this one near side as far as Paddy McCarthy 30 out from goal kicks this one in it's high and it's over the crossbar Paddy McCarthy has reduced the gap to 2 points 14 points to 12 30 seconds of normal time left plus whatever is going to be added on <coughs> And well, those that made their way to the exits and that are in the cars listening, thinking that Drum Broadford were safely through to the final. We thought it as well, but let's be honest. Two between them now. <laughs> well, who knows what's going to happen here as play resumes with James Noonan's kick out. Sent down the far side. That's a good uh, belt of a ball. Won by Jason Stokes. Further up the centre now towards Mihal Brasden. Gathers it. 40 yards out from goal, heads towards the 21, 
He kicks this one right footed in and there's three points between them again. That was a good score from Michal Brosnan. He's second of the game. We're into stoppage time. It's at the discretion of the referee, Trevor Mann. And uh, the short kick out taken by St. Kieran's. It hasn't worked out for them. Johnny Buckley off now. Here's a chance. Michal Reedy buries it to the back of the net. Goal for Michal Reedy. Game, set, match. And I was saying he's the only forward for Drum Broadford that hasn't scored. He's rectified that man when it matters the most. And Drum Broadford now, no doubt about it, 115 to 12, six between them. Well, that's uh, some goal as uh, play to resume as Pat Donnelly makes his way off. Uh, on the far side, we're into stoppage time here. We'll wait for the final whistle before we go to Oriel Park to find out a dramatic night up there. But uh, here it was looking somewhere dramatic, but now five between them, unless St. Kieran's are to score two very, very late goals. Now that would be drama. They ain't going to get them now because the hand pass towards Jim Donovan doesn't go to hand, and instead it's won and brought away now by uh, Jason Stokes. And Stokes lays this one off as far as Ray Lynch now finds uh, Tom McLaughlin, who finds himself full of running past halfway. McLaughlin as far as Shawnee Buckley 90 seconds of stoppage time already played five points between them here as the ball sent down the far side of the field and uh, Drum Broadford now winning possession of it down the far side and they're uh, happy enough to hold it up just midway between the 45 and the uh, 65 it's that low ball sent inside now this time and uh, over there to win it Michal Brosnan again down the far side Brosnan in possession of it looking up for the option with uh, two minutes of stoppage time we'll see no more stoppage time it's all over Drum Broadford have won it Drum Broadford 115 St Kieran's 12 points Matt O'Callaghan Drum Broadford in to yet another county final. Can you tell me who went and see the other yeah. 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 And also Jason, Jason Stokes made a great win at the Shawnee Buckley, the Manchester Finals. We need this man, as we have seen in the Lions this, this year, and the chips have been in the field. All of this has been invariably this man. They have done it against him, against him. They did it against him. They did it against him. And now they have done it against him. I don't know how this was. Um, for St. Kieran's, they will go away with a disappointed team. If they benchmark their performance this year, as now as this year, against last year, you know, they have made progress. There's no question about it. And made progress most significantly on getting to the semi final rather than the quarter final. I think the quality of the team they have improved as a team. And, you know, a lot of. Okay, Matt O'Callaghan, thanks indeed for your company here this evening. It's been uh, a dramatic evening here at McNeville Park. Let's go to uh, Oriel Park and get the uh, very latest. It's uh, finished there. Let's uh, find out uh, the details of the game from Micah Hearn.